Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Corn here. And I've got you up in the craft room with me again. And I wanted to show you real quick a few things I've been working on. And this one is, you all saw me haul these bags that Hallmark had in Dollar Tree. They were normally $2.99, I got them for a dollar. And you all were interested to see what I was going to do with them. And as you see, this is to Ninju. And this is the back. And then this is how the front came out. I hope, like I said, I can't see with this camera mount what you all are seeing. But I'm trying to show you the whole thing. And instead of taking everything out, I just wanted to show you that I raised the bottom, made a pocket out of it. Use this paper here with the roses is um, authentic. Then you all saw me in my craft with me do the mason jar with uh, hearts and then the little envelope with hearts. And then here are some journaling cards. And then I put them on the bag with a pink clip with some gold glitter on it, which I do believe came from Target last year. I'm not sure. And just some tags and some doilies and some stickers. Y'all might get a kick out of the top of it though. With um, the punch that I used on the topper is a Martha Stewart punch. And I just thought that Hallmark did such a beautiful job of making this bag. Oh, there's just so pretty. And then the um, a more is a die that I got last year at Hobby Lobby on the 75% off. Then die cut the leaves and on my Gemini. And then these darling little glitter flowers with the bling in the middle do come from Hobby Lobby. I get those if I'm running low on, um, they have a 50% off sale. So that's how that one turned out. And then <laughs> this one always makes me laugh when I look at it because of the tag I put in the front. But there's, <laughs> I hope you can see. Here comes the tag. And this is a loaded pocket for my pen pal, CJ. And um, the envelope I made with uh, the envelope punch board. Uh, Lynn Wilson gave me some darling borders that Martha Stewart put out. Lynn gave them to me last year. And I fussy cut this out and then have this on a little um, foam so that you can open it like this is filled with some heart um, stickers. And remember, CJ loves kawaii and loves little cute things with faces. And the same, you know, the mason jar and then the, the envelope full of love and hearts and then this darling little felt um, heart that goes into I did not do this um, this was gifted to me last year and the thing is I'm not sure who it was it might have even been our CJ <laughs> I'm not sure I did not put a name on it but I thought y'all remember she loves purple and lavender are her favorite colors so that's we went with a very large tag with um, the googly eyes with the lashes great uh, fuchsia lips and then her little beauty mark is hot pink jam and then just other goodies in here that are placed in there like I said I won't be taking everything out but just some little cherubs and hearts on the toppers on those and then the back of this just has a little tag with our you know to CJ from corn and let me see. So what we're going to be... Oh, I did have this. This wouldn't fit into the loaded pocket. So just did the Tim Holtz bows on the hearts. And sorry for this glare. Oh, boy. 
I'll do it like this maybe. Remember, CJ loves anything holographic. Well, not anything, but most things holographic. So I thought she'd get a kick out of these. And today we're gonna, I wanna show you what I've been working on and then we'll do a card together if, if you'd like to. If that's not your thing and you're not interested, then I understand. But the first one is for Ninju. Remember, her favorite color is yellow. Now, she prefers a dark yellow, but a lot of the paper I get is not dark yellow. So I want to show you the ombre cards. Let me show you real quick. They came from Hobby Lobby. You can see I've used a lot of them. They came from the 75% off last year, and you're getting the green and blue and lavender, and pink and orange and yellow. Normally, I don't use yellow in Valentine's, which there's, I don't know why, we just always associate pinks and different shades of pinks and red, but if yellow's your favorite color to me, and you know somebody that, that when they see it, they smile, then to me, I think, do it. Do something for them <laughs> in yellow. So let me put these on the side. Uh, I picked up the yellow, and you all saw me in my Hobby Lobby clearance haul a few days ago that I posted. Um, I knew that Ninju would love the llama tags the most, and so this is one of those llama tags put up on foam. This piece of paper with the little hearts is um, the authentic. When it comes to the solid papers, y'all, I like I've mentioned before, I can't um, always tell you where I get those because I put them in boxes. When I get them, you know, all pinks in this one, all blues and you know, that type of thing. I did get the idea, you know me with tags, I would normally have all of these ribbons and stuff going this way and everything. But I got this idea from a magazine that I found in a thrift store that, um, boy, I think they said it was 14 years old. So, but you know that when it comes to arts and crafts, um, things are timeless. Yes, um, we might say, oh, this is a new washi and it precious and this is a new way to do work with journals and things like that. But at the same time, I just love the old magazines. I only got like four, but I just treasure them. And when I saw them do this, I just thought, oh, that's precious. <laughs> so I adopted that from the magazine. This paper was, this is a border punch from Arthur Stewart. And then it says, I love that little mouse sticker in the yellow. And these little stickers are from Walmart. And then I just went ahead and signed it by hand. And then we have this one, which is, I'm going to try to not say from here on out. <laughs> Because some of these people are very, very sweet and they watch my videos because they are so kind and supportive. But then um, this was with the authentic paper and it was just one of the cutouts. And you all saw me haul these darling little hearts um, from the recent Hobby Lobby clearance haul. So I placed that there which gives it some dimension. And then this washi I've had for a long time. It's so narrow, but it has tiny little white flowers that I tried to pick up these white flowers with. And then, the again, the glittered flowers are from Hobby Lobby. And then these leaves I went ahead and just cut out of paper because my um, die-cut leaves are, are pretty, but they're that more of the... Um, sea foam green and the green they used in this is is very yellow green and almost olive green in sections so i went ahead and did 
that myself. Took a Tombow marker and just did a tiny bit of veining. And then the back of this one has a little owl and handmade by corn. And I go around the um, edges uh, and these now a lot of people on YouTube do that because they're they aren't really keen on the white edges and this kind of makes it pop a little bit but um, on gift basket appeal does it a lot I do it often but I did and I know I did it on that one as you can see it <laughs> And then we have this one I did. And this is for a friend of mine whose name, as you can see, starts with M. <laughs> I got this gorgeous ribbon last year and I used it all up. I only have a teeny, tiny, teeny piece left that I don't even know if I can use it. This is the Authentique paper. This are the ombre cards. And this um, die came from a clearance haul last year at Hobby Lobby. And then this flower, the same Hobby Lobby, but then these tiny little flowers. I got a punch when Hobby Lobby had, in March, they had another clearance sale at the end of March last year and they had a little plastic um, mason jar full of tiny tiny punches and that's what they come from and then that darling little tiny bling I hoard these things I save them so much but Tina Kazarian gave them to me uh, last year at uh, for St. Patrick's Day she's such a darling and then I did the same with the leaves had to be so tiny I just cut them out by hand and then on the back of this one <laughs> you know I'm gonna love the unicorn and it says you are unique <laughs> we're all unique aren't we which makes us even more unique <laughs> and then the next one this is for a friend of mine who loves birdies. When she sees birdies, she grins and smiles, plus she has one. <laughs> and then remember Amanda Christina with Heavenly Imaginings told me how to do that with the bow. I wanted to put, uh, I have some black satin bows that were gifted to me and I wanted to put one of them there. It looked fantastic, but this is going through the mail. And I kept thinking when it hits, because it's kind of bumpy, you know, where you tie it in the middle. And I thought if that those machines, I have had people at the post office be before, you know, feel my items when I ask if it's extra postage and say, you know, um, it might not make it through the machine. So I err on the side of caution. So, but that's how this one turned out. And this card I got at Hoobly. Joanne Fabrics. It's um, lacy because it's wedding. But to me, lace goes with everything, baby. <laughs> and then she also love, loves hedgehogs. So there's her little hedgehog on the back with some metallic red on it. And then last but not least, I did this in CJ. If you don't want to see it, <laughs> I understand. But if you want to see it, just stay with us. Um, Craft Junkie, as most of you know, she loves, um, she's like me. We When we look at paper that has a black background and then it has you know, a floral, especially roses, but other, you know, other flowers as well. Oh, boy, we just, I don't know, we, we just love it. So... What I did here, and I'm sorry it's in the hallway. Remember, I've my craft room's so tiny, I'm my uh, Gemini's out in the hallway. But I got this die, which produces just this from it's from Amazon. You know how they have certain dies that you can get for a dollar, 
and then it takes it and then shipping's a dollar ninety nine because they're coming from China and I used it for the first time and I used it with the purple and then the pink and then the fuchsia actually and the leaves um this dye the the leaves I think was another clearance dye and then I'm sorry I don't remember where I got the heart in lavender doily and then this glitter heart comes from Walmart but I had to make the card but the um, the black envelope evidently was on clearance at Hobby Lobby some time ago because I had it with my other ones but I had to make the card it's um it's five by seven and then on the back of this one <laughs> she gets the little panda <laughs> so that was the last one I made for my CJ my pen pal and then I thought we could make this one together uh, again, the ombre in pink. And I'm going to place this a certain way so that I can line up my um, center panel. This, again, is the uh, authentic paper. And then there's our... There's our handmade bicorn on the back. That's a die cut. And then punched out these little hearts. And then this is that we're going to work with. This is, um, oops. This is a, in the authentic paper, just a little cut apart. And I don't know about y'all, but this family, even, you know, if you're waiting for someone or you're, if there's a lull in the conversation, you know, you want to play tic-tac-toe? <laughs> we haven't done it for a while because there's never... Can you imagine a lull in the conversation with this family? <laughs> but we used to. And I thought I would put it, you know, like this way, as in it was just thrown on the table. And I thought I'd put this one here to mark the center, but I thought maybe kind of throw these guys on, you know? because it would be more, I don't know, like you're really plain, but anywho. So, I thought we'd do this one together. And one thing I did, but I don't know if it's gonna work or not, I put, remember we're, oh, I went ahead and filled my art glitter glue. But this little baby we're still working on, and I remember it was taking forever in my last Craft With Me video for it to the glue to get down so this little container I found on clearance at Hobby Lobby a year ago or so I'm not sure how long but I hung it on the side of one of my Dollar Tree white storage little basket I don't know what you'd call it, it looks like something you put in your locker and just hung it from there and hopefully so it won't take me forever to get the glue out <laughs> <laughs> and the hot hot pink my craft room is in more of a pastel pink now but the hot hot pink is what it used to be because I could get the items for a dollar <laughs> so let's do this let's put this down first and I did want to show you, too, that I used the um, little heart punch by the Paper Studio. And this is a glittered heart from Walmart that you get quite a few of them for 98 cents. And showing you, you can punch three of them out of that one, which is pretty sweet. And if I cut it here and here, I could probably get my little teeny tiny one out of there, too, if I wanted. So they, they work quite well. So let's try to get my glue open. Uh-oh. It's mad at me. I guess I shouldn't have hung it that way. <laughs> Here we go. 
Let's put this baby on. Oh, sorry for the noise. That wasn't very pleasant. <laughs> so, how have you all been? It doesn't want to come out, by the way. There we go. Here's hoping everybody's staying cozy and warm. Record-breaking cold, and unfortunately, terrible cold. on nice and straight which is something I don't do often and how are we doing y'all remember I like to roll it Handsome gets such a kick out of me doing that. <laughs> he, thinks it's, he likes it that I'm getting some use out of it, you know? Because he wasn't using it. Alrighty. How are we doing? Okay. Oh, you can still hear it. It fascinates me to hear the glue under there. <laughs> And then I'm going to end up setting this up on some foam. So let's go ahead and do the back. And we've already got that done. We've saved some time with this glue though, but it wants to come out, you know, really quickly now. <laughs> it's like, uh -oh. uh, there's a little too much there. Isn't that a sweet shape? I like the shape of that tie. So cute. Okie dokie. And then as you know, oh, and did you all see CJ got some of these? And the reason she liked them because she has them um, differently. But, you know, she said she likes these because if she's holding something like this, it'll stay shut when you put it down. You know, they'll st stay holding it. Otherwise, you put it down and boink. <laughs> So I was real tickled that she found what she wanted. She's such a darling. She really is. She's lovely. Okay. So let's put this one here. And then we'll do this one. These do have a front and a back. This paper, do you all remember at... Dollar Tree when they had the pearlized paper it was rather small but they still had it um boy that was over a year ago too wasn't it wow well that's what this is alrighty so this one's going to be rather simple isn't it but just to me, to play a game is so much fun. <laughs> it's just fun. So, speaking of Dollar Tree, what I do is I get um, from the super glue foam mounting tape. I hope you can see that. 
um, which is usually in the section that's automotive, which is interesting but true. And they're already, as you know, they're already um, in the rectangles for you, which is great. And you might think, Lauren, you don't need to put that much on, but I ended up doing it because I was working on something in the past. And I did like just one here in the middle, and I thought, okay, five of them is fine. Oh no, these two and this went down. I was like, uh oh, you know, no matter how um, you like your. Uh, card stock. Let me make sure that's going to stay. Do you know what I mean? It would go... <laughs> I think that's good enough. But to be real honest, sometimes I actually put... Eh, I'm going to do it just to, just to make sure. Better safe than sorry. Okay. Alrighty. And what I do is I just push down on everybody and then I'll put that back later. Then what we're going to do is, since I have a hard time taking them off, I take this little doohickey and do it like so. And I think you all, in one of my craft with me, saw my trash can beside me <laughs> that, that wasn't pretty but like I told y'all I can't see uh, with this camera mount and we're trying to figure out one you know we've been looking at other ones but they're all basically like this one and we're like well, what's going on we need to see what we're filming or recording. I have a good looking man in the room across the hall. <laughs> he would normally come in and say hi, but he knows that doing the craft with me is so different for me, as you all know. <laughs> but, you know, I'm going to say it. Which y'all have been so sweet about, you know, liking them that I thought, okay. You know, one thing I'm realizing that a lot of us crafters have the same idea. But if you do see something on another person's channel, then, you know, give them credit, please. I really think that's important to do. You know, like with my embellishments, you know, that I really, and if other people did it years ago, okay, but I really did see it on Amanda Christina's channel, you know. So let's throw it this way. Like so. Oh, yeah, that's going to stay up nice. <laughs> And then, oh, that's right. I forgot to show y'all. I thought we could put this up here. Yay. And, <laughs> silly me, I forgot it was up there. I would normally place this a little further down on the card, but, okay. Again, when we make mistakes, if it's really bothering me, I can put some washi or something down here, you know to compensate, you know, to, to kind of balance it out. But I completely forgot I was going to put that there. Like I said, I want to put this one on. Not perfect. Ooh, boy, is that coming out. You put the new glue in, and it's very happy. And we'll this one on like we're playing. Okay. 
This is my version of tic-tac-toe and bingo combined. And these are the little bingo goodies. <laughs> What are they called? The little, I don't know, plastic circles that you put on bingo cards. Maybe like so. <laughs> what I, if I remembered I was going to do this, what I would normally do if I didn't put, um, washi here is to put ribbon around this piece but who will I was looking at it, but this this red is too bright. Mm -hmm. Pink polka dot. That doesn't show up real well, though, does it? Mm. Let's see what this red looks like. Oh, that's not the right shade of red either. Hmm. Well, guys, I would normally show you, or can we use the very last piece of ribbon? The very last piece? Oh, there goes my phone. I apologize. Oh, my. That might be adorable, mightn't it? Let me pull it up here. Oh, that would be cute. Yay, and I get to use it. <laughs> So, let's cut our ends to make them pretty. Hmm, interesting. Should this be cut again? That one looks a little odd. So what I do to adhere that ribbon is a, let's see, the Sticky Thumb by American Crafts. I go ahead and cut this and, <laughs> sorry for the noise, boink, and, uh, put it directly on here. Let me see how far we've got to go from here to about here. And I think you remember me hauling these uh, scissors that um, don't have that anything sticky. They're by Fiskars won't adhere to the scissors themselves, which to me is just wonderful. I apologize for that phone. Oop, that's going to show. We don't want it at that little corner. There we go. And then, let's try to make it behave and stay down there. And then try to get it to come up for there. Sometimes it's happy to. Nope. Not, of course. Not while I'm. <laughs> Let's do this and see if that helps. <laughs> Whee! 
Now let's see. Let's go this side. And the answer is no. Ah, oh, come on. Sorry, guys. That's the fun thing about recording this. It won't behave sometimes. And sometimes it will. Here we go. Alrighty, and we've got to go under there. And there we go. And then there's the back. And I probably, I think I put my stickers, I'll probably find something kind of cute to go right here too. And that's what we made together. Here's hoping that you get to see the whole thing. And I'd like to thank you all for joining me today. And I hope you have a wonderful morning afternoon or evening. Bye-bye, everybody.